Welcome! New day, new game, we play against Eagle Fire 1, a Dutch guy, rated 1483, way higher than I am currently rated. So let's see, there's two ways to take back, either with a pawn or with a knight, both is possible. But we get a different setup as yesterday, which is interesting. Let's see how he plays, yeah, so try to kick away the bishop. You don't want to take here, because this is your very good bishop in these kind of positions. So we keep it on the board, just go back and keep the tension here. And just start developing the bishop. He goes there with his bishop. I think now queen to b3 gives him some challenges. And that's the right move. Maybe I should even take here first. So I just said to not give up bishop, right? But um, if I take, take a queen here, I take two pawns. Which is good for me. So I think I actually should take here. Because if I go here first, maybe this is a move. Here. Bishop here. No, I think this is probably rook here. Takes, takes, takes. And the rook comes in. Maybe takes, takes. Queen here. Yeah, because then I can actually take this pawn. I think that's uh, better for me. Okay, so let's take. And then we play queen to b3. I'm on these two pawns. I don't think there's a way for him to capture both. But I think we're just a pawn up. He's further in development. That is true. That is true. Maybe I should have kept the bishop. But okay. But okay. And then uh, later I will just develop and castle. Let's see what it does. Maybe just castle. But then I will likely just take take this pawn. I can play c6, but then I take here. And he needs to go here and then this pawn hangs, so... Yeah, this is my main priority. This pawn, maybe here. That will just take, and if here. Then, I think I can take here. Rook here. What about the check? Forward, check. Queen can escape. Hmm. So here, 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 here. Check. My queen is being attacked. Uh, okay, it goes there. Interesting. So I will just look here. So I wanna, don't want to take with the knight. It is possible actually here, I think, because then we have the bishop here. But um, even a move like this, oh, then I can take here. I think just let's just take and go for queen trade. I think this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, let's take. And then we threaten to take bishop right if the knight lands here we take the bishop and we also threaten to give a check here picking up the pawn so probably has to undevelop himself which i like which i like a lot that's exactly what i want 
Yeah, and then maybe I'll just go here. Get the knight into the game. I was also thinking about this move. This check is not good, right? Because then he will put the pawn forward and it's being protected by the knight. This is also not a really good move because then the... Wait, wait, so this move here, attacking both the rook and the knight. Also not really favorable for me. Um, maybe f3 is a good move here to get my pawns, to get some good pawns in the center. Maybe that's an interesting move. But also, it's also a bit slow. Hmm. Also a bit slow. Maybe this one will come here, this one will come here. Hmm. Let's start with the rook. If the pawn goes forward, then I can go back. Yeah, let's do that. Threatening to take. If the pawn goes forward, then the knight can never land here. That's exactly what I like. Because then the knight has to go here, likely. And if ever c5, then I can play for my pawn to d5. If c5, I can just take, take, take. Then the knight can always get in between in case the bishop gives a check. That is good. I threatened to, to take here with a check. So I think he... He needs to act for sure. He needs to act for sure. Let's see what he decides to do. I think he should play c6 probably. Or well, this could also be moved, move, but then my knight uh, comes in. With some tempo. Which I like. Then we change plans. Then we don't play f3. But I think the f3 plan can be quite interesting here. f3, e4, build a good center. Yeah. Now I think we have to go back. Let's do that. Let's go back. And now we are a pawn up. We have a very healthy pawn structure. Which like doesn't. His pieces are still not very well developed. Neither are mine, but um, we will make sure that will happen soon. I think just like maybe bishop here knight here something like that should be good i was thinking maybe even g3 ah oh, that would might be nice g3 might be nice yeah let's let's go for g3 because this is not possible because then i take it okay let's go for g3 let's develop the bishop here and maybe the knight will go here Okay, let's develop the rook here. Let's see if there's some tricks with the knight, because we have this going on. Let's see, what if I go here? I cannot take, because then the rook hangs, of course. But am I threatening anything? Maybe if I go here, threaten to take this pawn. But I feel I need to develop my pieces as well. So maybe that's what I should do first. I can go here, here, right here. Because if I go my knight here, then maybe he goes here and I cannot castle. And I'd like to castle, for sure. Then maybe just a setup like this, this, oh, this, this, and uh, this one here. I think that looks fine. Let's just go for it. Let's go for it. And then knight here. Then we castle.
and then we cancel. Maybe this bishop belongs on this diagonal, but okay. Anyway, let's go here. Maybe f5 is a move here. Then I get this move in with a tempo. Bishop has to move. Then go here and then maybe c5. Probably that's his best continuation. Probably. But I think maybe now already knight to f4. Looks like a very uh, healthy and good move. Why not? Maybe this is a move then. Okay, well, let's just castle. Let's just castle. Maybe f5 still. Here and then c5. Maybe we should have played f4 instead. After f5, and I can always also just go pawn to f3 to take back with my pawn. And then he looks also a bit overextended, maybe. Although this bishop can also go on this diagonal. Time wise, he's doing a bit worse than me. He goes with this pawn. Now, this is a real weakness. I think I should. So if this one ever comes, then I will play this one forward, huh? So what about f4 now? I think, so there's two options, either here and then this, which looks very good to me. Yeah, that looks very good. That looks very good to me. But here, 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 this move in between. Remove my knight. Takes, takes. And at some point, f4. Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Maybe I can also just play my rook here and start pressing. Because maybe he wants to go here. That would be a bit unpleasant for me, I think. Yeah, let's go here. This bishop is pretty much out of the game. Which is good for me. I like it. I like it. If this happens, then I will always go forward. Well, now, of course, we'll just take the pawn, but, uh, yeah. Maybe a3 also would have been a good move. Going there, logical, logical. He wants to put his knight on a good square here. But I think I will always just kick it away. I was thinking this is now a good move for me. So I think I will just play it. Maybe rook here even. Is a good move for me. Okay, let's just go. If it takes, then we will just take with the knight. I think we'll take with this knight, attacking the bishop and also this pawn, and I think. And then takes with the knight, then we'll take with my knight. Or maybe I will take. No, I think I will take with the knight. And if takes here, then we can take here. Okay, let's take. Takes. Then we will take as well. Yeah, I think we're uh, clear pawn up here. 
You need to pay attention to the time though. Maybe it takes back with the rook, is even better. Because then we keep some focus on this pawn here. And then we can double up our rooks. Maybe that's nice actually. Takes, but what if here and the rook maybe comes in? Not so clear. Not so clear. If it takes like this, then probably bishop here, and the bishop gets active. Let's take like this. Here, then I was thinking to go here. Preventing this bishop from going to this diagonal. So I'm a pawn up, but he has the bishop pair, and the bishop pair is quite powerful, so... I'd love to trade off the bishop pair here. The thing for me is that this bishop is not really in the game. Maybe I can go for f3 and uh, get my bishop a bit more active. So I think... Now maybe this is a move. Or maybe I should play my king here in case of this. And I can play f3. Yeah, that might be good. If here. Hmm. So if here, then bishop here is a bit unpleasant for me. Maybe f4. Maybe a 4 is a good move. Or check, king here, then I will double up. Yeah, let's let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Whatever. I need to speed up. Probably check here. If this, then we have a tempo. Who comes here? I can always defend on this row. I will probably push the pawn to h3 at some point. And this bishop is still out of the game so far. Which is good for me. Okay. Of course, after a move like this, I will play this. And I'd like to see a 5 because then I will sh simply move my pawn forward. That would be nice for me. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I even want to take back with a knight. No, probably not. It goes back for the end game. I think this endgame for me is uh, clearly winning. Probably it's clearly winning. Because this bishop is uh, out of the game still, but it will get back into the game at some point. And I have a pawn extra. Let's just go for it. And then my king. Enter the game. Ah, it goes like that. Okay. If this... Oh, this one is being attacked now. Let's play... Uh, I think I should go here, maybe, even. Because he is threatening to go here, huh? That's what he wants. But he needs to keep an eye on the bishop. So I think now I should go here, because my king should join the game. Here, here, here. This is not possible, because then the bishop falls. But he will give a check first, and I will go here. Then this, and then I have a tempo with my and a bishop here. 
Hmm. And then I can go here. Okay, yeah. Let's just go for this. Oh, 1 minute 16. I definitely should move faster here. There are some back rank issues for my buddy here. Let's go here. If this, I think I can go here. If entering my position. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. We definitely maybe knight here is a good move to protect the spawn and then bring the king into the game and see how this bishop is still out of the game that is an important factor for me okay let's trade off equal bishop endgame if he goes for it now he goes here defend maybe i should even have gone here but I like to keep keep this bishop out of the game. If here I can bring the king, rook here, and my king will go to this side of the board. That should be an easy win for me. Let's get my king to this square, the rook here. This move, I'm not afraid. I'll just go here, take some, take back. The bishop is still, still out of the game. Still out of the game. And these pawns are on the white squares, which is favorable for me. Because I have the white square bishop. So maybe a move like this at some point is interesting to fix the pawns on the white squares so I can attack it. Probably a good move already for me to think about. Maybe uh, instead of king f2 even. Still do it. My rook will always defend here. And I think uh, yeah, this is pretty good for me. Let's play this move. A3 and oh. let's get this king forward. And I think uh, probably this is already a winning move. Take six. And yeah, let's move my queen king up. Or not. Yeah, let's do it. And then we go a3. At some point. Well, maybe I will take. I think it's not the cleanest technique I'm showcasing, but uh, in so far so good. If it takes if I take with the king, then my bishop hangs, so I will take back with the rook instead. Um, let's go here now, or maybe reroute the bishop even. That could be interesting as well. Or. Can also just start moving the pawns up the board. How about this move? Yeah, let's play this, this move and create a pass pawn here for me. That's what we want. What 
Open Wild and then the Space Shop. We'll sooner or later start attacking these pawns. Okay. Let's get the king into the game. This rook defends this pawn and also this pawn, right? Yeah, I can see what you're doing, but it's also creating a weakness. Maybe I should even... Mm, no, not, not push. Let's go here. Maybe at some point just win this spawn. King f4 is a good move for me. Here. Yeah, like this is a good move. Start aiming for these pawns. He goes here. I can go here and everything is covered basically. Goes there. Let's go here. Attack this pawn. And this pawn is also being attacked. Okay. We go here. Take this pawn. Yeah. Then about this move. Probably has to go back. Yeah, but now this is a winning move for me. I think. I hope. I think this should be good. Check. What if he goes here? But I think I will go for checkmate then. But here, here, here. Oh, check. I can go here. And if he defends, then. My bishop retreats. And I think I hold everything. I also could have gone here to attack this pawn. Um, yeah, but just let's get these pawns rolling on the side of the board. This is a free pawn. This pawn is also being protected, right, by the bishop. So I think this will be a clean win for me. If check, then we'll just get the rook in between. And if takes, then we can take. Because the rook is also being defended by the bishop, right? So that's all good for me. And I think we will win this game against Eagle Fire 1. That's nice. And well, we don't have the right bishop color for this pawn, but we do have this pawn as well. Thank you. And we won quite some points. That's really nice. We moved to 1355. That's very exciting. And. Um, I did make a mistake here. Well, let's see. I have a feeling it was not very clinical. 1500 rating. Let's see. The bishop here gives away the pawn. Yeah, so this was the right sequence. Takes. Here, knight to c3. I think he would have liked me to go back to f4. Yeah, remaining to be active. Okay, I didn't think of knight to f4. G g3 and bishop g2 is the right choice. Here, this would have been a good move. Knight c5. Ah, and then here. Yeah, okay. I should have looked more into that tactic because I was just simply winning. And here. Should have gone here. Takes, takes. Yeah, this looks very clean. 
or even this night. Okay. Yeah, I made it a bit difficult for myself. Take back with the knight is better. Then I was thinking about this move. Oh, and then b4. Ah, okay. And then, yeah, you already have to go back here, for example. Now, maybe this is a move. Check. He takes, and then a better pawn structure is better, but not best. e5 here is a good move. Okay, yeah, because I'm also going here. Okay. Right. Clearly not the right moves from my side. Takes, takes. Should have gone f4 here to ensure this bishop is still out of the game. But then after what, what after this, then I can go here. A rook a3 even. Ah, rook a3 is interesting because then here you can go bishop f1, right? And then taking a spawn and if this then we just simply take. Far from clean. Far from clean and b4 was not a good move. F4 should have been played. Quite some mistakes. And this is close to a draw even. Hmm. Should have gone here. Okay. We're going for the check. Bishop c3 was not very good. Yeah, I was also thinking that after this move, that is a bit difficult for me. So I should have gone here. Takes. King takes. Yeah, then I have a passer. And what if check? And we just go back. And let's say here. F6 check. King f8. Bishop to e4. Okay, and a good position for me. Yeah, I thought he had to play king g8 indeed. But now, yeah, this is simply winning for me. Yeah, also still not the best technique. But, um, yeah, easy in the end. Thanks again, Eagle Fire 1, for the game. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.